Hi, Codebrainer. Let's make an app that will calculate how much we love each other. Take a look at our video to see how to calculate it on paper. But here we will create an app for it. We will have to write a bit of code to make it work as an app on Android, but we can do it. We will do it in steps as on paper. First, we will have to prepare a screen to get all the data. So let's create a new project. We will name it Love Calculator. Choose API 21. We will choose an empty activity to start with. Let's open our activity underscore main layout. Remove hello world text view. Let's add to edit text. Drag and drop plain text control from the palette. Name the first one text name one. Make sure that text name one has three constraints, one to the top of the screen, one to the left, and one to the right. Set hint field to enter her name. Make text field empty. Add another edit text. Place it below the first one. Name the second one text name two. For text name two, the top constraint should be linked to text name one. Set hint field to enter his name. Empty the text field as well. Add a text view. Name it text view result. Make sure that it has three constraints, the top one linked to text name two, one to the left side of the screen, and one to the right side. Set text field value to press calculate. Add one button to the screen. Name it button calculate. Change the text to calculate. Button should also have three constraints, one to the bottom, one to the left, and the last one to the right of the screen. We have prepared the layout and now we can start to code. Go to mainactivity.java. We need a few variables to work with. For both edit texts, text name one, text name two, one for the text view, and one for the button. We will initialize values inside onCreateMethod of the main activity. We will use FindViewById for all of them. Text name one, text name two, Text view result and button calculate. We will also add an on-click listener to button calculate. Inside onClick method, we will get the text from edit text controls. In other words, we will read names you have entered. We need to use a method to lowercase so that all the characters have the same case.
We will show the calculation in three steps, similar to the algorithm we showed on paper. Add a method named count cares. It will take two parameters of type string. In the first step, we will count characters in both names and in word loves. First, we just append together the names and word loves. Next, we prepare two variables, one for all the characters and the other for counting them. Now we go through all the characters of appended words using for each loop. For every character, we need to check if we have already encountered it before. We do this using an if statement. If we didn't do it, we would count the letters more than once, if they appeared more than once. For example, if a letter A appeared twice, we would count two A's for the first A in our word and count two again for the second one. At the end of the if statement, we store the character we counted and append the count to the count string. At the end of the method, we return the count. We can already show our calculations on the strings, so let's do it. Go to onClick method and add two more lines. First, we add a variable for counting characters. It will be of type string. Next, we set the value to our text view result. Let's run the app. Enter Mary and James, and the result should be 2211111221. Now we will write a method that will shorten our number. We will name it shorten number. It will return a string and take one parameter. This method uses recursion to calculate the result. This means that it calls itself. We will store the new value in shortened string variable. The method is divided in two parts according to the length. If we have at least two characters, we will sum the digits from the edges. Let's read a value of the first character and convert it to an integer. Now, let's read the last character and parse it as well. Here's we will sum the digits from the edges. This method uses recursion to calculate the result. This means that it calls itself. If we have less than two characters in the string, we just return it. We return the shortened string at the end of the method. Let's use it in our onClick method. 
We need to change it a little bit and use method shorten number. Run the app. Write names once again and use calculate. And the shortened number is 34322. Two. Let's add the last step. That will combine all the parts of the algorithm. We will call it calculate. It will return a string and take two parameters. First, we count the characters and store the value in variable short string. Next, we need a variable output. Its initial value will be equal to short string. We will make a loop with a do while loop. At the beginning of each loop, we append a new line character to our output variable. Then we calculate a new short string using the short number method. Next, we check if the new short string is two characters long. If it is, we append another new line. At the end of the loop, we append the new short string to the output. We keep repeating the loop as long as the new short string is longer than two characters. After the loop, we add a percent sign to the output. And we return it at the end of the method. We will use this new calculate method in the onClick method, so we need to make some changes again. Run the app again. You should get the result of 86 for Mary and James. That's it. Install it on your phone and calculate the results for all the friends. Don't give them the app. Tell them to make it for themselves so they will have more fun. So, have fun coding with Codebrainer.